Yo, Pressure Gang, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back, bro. Now, look, we got another Tommy G video. Now, if you don't know who Tommy G is, hopefully you saw that that one video of when he was doing the video with that world's most famous scammer, you know, Punch Made. Now we got the most gangster place you've ever, you've never heard of. Now, I don't know what place that could be, but we're going to find out, bro. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm Tommy G, and I'm in PG right now with Big Fly. Y'all already know the f going on max blocks one they say oh my mother's going to that make sure i tune in right now Big right. Dog's gotta eat. what's going on fellas what's up, man? is this a hot area yeah pretty much I mean, it's hot for who make a hot type shit. you made a song called the black kkk tell us about that tell us, i'm sorry about white dudes <laughs> Copyright, bro. So you know what I'm saying. Damn, it was this. Probably a good idea to avoid uh, doing a big flock. This today, folks, I take you to the most gangster place you've never heard of, Suitland, a city in Prince George County, Maryland. This is an area that's been plagued with violence and shootings. According to police, murders in Prince George's County are up by more than 50% compared to the same time last year. Well, a violent night in tonight in Prince George's County. At least three people dead in separate shootings there. A 16-year-old now facing attempted murder charges after a shooting right outside of Suitland High School. In Prince George's County, police are investigating a shooting that killed a 19-year-old. Police are investigating a double shooting near Suitland High School. We're going to begin in Prince George's County for a murder investigation investigation is underway right now. One of Suitland's most famous residents is gangster rapper Big Flock. Flock has collaborated with guys like 21 Savage, ESTG, and Pooh Shiesty. This is what he sounds like. Niggas sketchy, I don't know who to rock. I be slanging that lid like I'm doodle ball. I was stuck in that cell, I ain't know who to call. In 2017, he was sentenced to federal prison for drugs and firearm charges. Ever since he got home, he's been dropping certified slappers. Today, he takes us through his hood, where we meet his crew, and I end up making a song with him, so stick around to the end to hear that. Ladies and gentlemen, let's begin today's episode. Nice to meet you, man. How you doing, brother? Good, boy. How you So tell the people where we are right now. Uh, we on Max Block right now. It's two parts of my hood. We got um, Andrew Mann on this side. We got Allentown. Yeah, I'm from Allentown. Of course, everywhere, but I don't know where like one big like It's my building where I keep it. What's going on, fellas? Yeah, yeah. So when I look up the, the county Prince yeah, George, it like sounds like a beast. fancy place. Mm -hmm. Is that a good interpretation or no? I mean, it just depends when you go. You know, like everybody probably got a rich part of their county, you know but everybody got a Prince, project to. Prince George is, is like the more dominant, like, I'm gonna say black successful families. Yeah. It's a half percentage. We got like a half percentage. So what's the lingo around here? Like, what are some words that people use? Scrappy dude. Shit ba. Shit ba. Shit ba. Shit ba. Shit ba. Yeah. Use that in a sentence, please. All right, so boom, ask me a question. Right, tell me, tell me that you just pulled up. I just pulled up. All right, shit ba, I'm about to come get you. Shit ba, okay, like, all right. It's almost like, all right, all right, all right, all right, so my girlfriend or my wife texts me, uh, come upstairs, winky face. I say, shit ba. Yeah, yeah like that. Like that. <laughs> <laughs> what's up, what's up? You're shooting a cool little document right now. Uh, are those actually uh, they call they special police, but they not really like... Um, is it just for the area? Yeah, just for here. Because we were in O Block, they also have police like yeah, that. Yeah, yeah. Is this a hot area? Yeah, pretty much. I mean, it's hot for who make it hot type shit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, you gonna hear this all day. Like, you always gonna hear that. Sirens are always in the background. All day. So what is it like growing up in a place where you always are hearing sirens? Oh, you get used to stuff like that, for real, yeah. for real. Yeah, you just get used to it. Okay. Yeah. It's like, it's what you grow up to. You hear that shit when you small, when you get older, it's like muscle memory. So you've been out for more than three years then, right? Yeah, um... As Big Flock was being sentenced, he wrote a letter to the public sharing his thoughts about going to prison. I'm going to share with you the most important parts of the letter so you can get into the mind of a man that's facing incarceration. First, he's painfully aware that he may have lost out on a lucrative music career by having to put his music on hold for 45 months. And as a kid who grew up missing his dad who was in prison for a murder charge, he knows firsthand the struggles his two-year-old daughter will face growing up without a dad. What did you learn about your time? Yeah, that again? should be tough. The main thing man. I learned was how to judge real, real from fake. Like the main thing. Is this a place you grew up as well? What have you learned? What have you learned in your time here? I'm BG187, man, you know. I'm an upcoming rapper, you know. I'm nice. an entrepreneur also. But I learned from, you know, just growing up that the best business is to mind your own. You live longer. Yeah. And number two, just get your money and stay out the way. Females gonna have you late. Niggas gonna hate on you. 
Get your money. So what did you learn like when you saw him go away for a bunch of months? Like what did that what were your reflections on that? It's like it's a lesson, but you don't you don't really learn until you go through it yourself. What do you say to all the kids that are listening to Gain Trap but maybe haven't had experienced the consequences that also come with that lifestyle? Man, I say for for this ain't even the life y'all wanna live for real. If you ain't gotta live this life, don't live it. Just stay in school and get y'all money. So I like say take care of y'all family. But does anyone here spit acapella? Hell mm -hmm. yeah, we do that yeah. shit. They call you Man, titty boy? Yeah, titty boy. Yeah, up, titty boy. <laughs> she on my line cause my titty eyes brown. Boy. She bent over and I knocked her down. Her dude affair, he a super clown. He wind her down when he on dates. He asked for head, I fuck her face. <laughs> Rolling onto the scene is my dear friend Brandon Buckingham. And for some reason today, he decided to wear a sweater. And speaking of fashion, we launched a limited edition t-shirt. Me and Brandon are boots on the ground journalists kicking mainstream media's ass. Link is in description. Back to the video. What's up, Sean? I do have a question for you. What's up? You made a song called The Black KKK. Mm -hmm. Tell us about that. No, said I'm surrounded by white dudes. Like, What's up? It's like that black. I don't know, bro. It was really just a bar on that joint for real, for real. That was be the Black KKK because we hate niggas. We don't be with niggas like that. Every time we do with niggas, something bad goes down. Yeah, man. So what advice do you have to the young guns that are going crazy right now? Because we have people in Milwaukee, teenagers, they're 12 year olds, they're still on 100 cars, yeah. 200 cars, and they're going fucking crazy. Tell you, Kia yep, boy. Yep. <laughs> How do you reach those guys? Oh, you can't. The fact that we, that we as a culture, like, dislike each other in certain ways so much, bro, like, we ain't never gonna be strong if we keep doing that shit, bro. Just think about if our culture, you know what I'm saying? If we all came together, bro, and stop all that fighting and all that bullshit ass beef and shit, bro. Y'all know how much stronger we would be, bro? Like, for real. Hey, man, I mean, shit, I, I just, that's, to be honest, that's not my job, for real. That's for their parents. You know what I'm saying? That's, that's some parental shit. They need to just go ahead and handle their business as a parent. So you feel like parents not doing their job is the reason we got Kia Boy? Man, it can be. Niggas sketchy, I don't know who to rob. I be slanging that lid like I'm doodle bop. I was stuck in that cell, I ain't know who to call. Dressing out cause they cut them computers off. We ain't talk about food, bro. You up like a soup. That just mean that we knocking your noodle off. If you had to talk to a bunch of middle school kids that were choosing, hey, which direction am I going to go? And they're considering going the street route. What would you tell them? I'm gonna go back to my middle school. Me, when I was in middle school, I thought it was cool to be the bad guy. I thought it was funny, but it's not when you get older and you realize, like, hey, I really gotta take care of somebody, a kid, or. How young were you when you first witnessed a violent act? I was like eight or nine. When I was looking out the window, we just seen somebody arguing. The next thing you know, we see a hand raising. It's a flash. We heard more shots. We jumped out the window. Like, man, that shit crazy. You guys told me a little bit about but what's the lingo in the area? Anything else I missed? Man, we got our own lingo. Yeah, yeah. I got their own lingo. Like, I be like saying, what's up, though? Like, what's up, boss? Because I only know some of the Milwaukees. Uh, we from Milwaukee. Yeah. Hey, yeah. I, what's your lingo down there? Smacking that shit. Yeah! <laughs> what's up, brother? That's another one. <laughs> oh, all right. Brr. <laughs> he added an extra. Yeah. So there is a, a rapper that used to be signed to Gucci Mane's record label. Oh, He's got multiple. <laughs> he a wild nigga. Stay away. He over there. Oh, yeah. I'll tell Tommy. There's a rapper named Lil Wap that used to be signed. Does he have a little Wap? I mean, now he's about to have no Wap, but um. Hey man, no freaky shit on this shit, man. How old were you when you got your first face tattoo? Seventeen. And do you remember which one was your oh, first? My. Yeah, my first tattoo was the dove. It's a dove right here, right? And where's that stand for? That's my brother. See, Diddy, he passed away. My little brother. He had an Audi in high school. I got this in jail. I got this in jail. Oh, someone actually did it while in jail? Yeah, yeah hell yeah. I got my whole body done in jail for real. Yeah? I wish I ain't never did this shit. Really? Yeah, f yeah. I could be a model or something like that. And, and everybody's so judgmental about what the f you look like. They judge off your friends before they even talk to you. So what what kind of judgments have people made about you without knowing you based off your face tattoos? Slow, gotta be a dumbass rival, don't know how to talk, trying to be too tough, trying to use a scare tactic, whatever the f you think about it. Mm. Niggas don't even be on that though. I got all this shit cause I, just because I wanted it. Yeah. We've been waiting on this playground, waiting for titties to show up. Where do you think titties is titties. right now? I was starting to doubt you, titties. Oh, no, nah, don't doubt me, man. Get with me. Don't shit me. <laughs> Give me, don't shit me. If you got me, nigga, get me. You have some good catchphrases, titties. Yeah. I mean, that's guys. security. That's security. Zoom in on. Just act normal, man. Everybody I was just over this motherfucker. Act normal. Y'all in the documentary now. Y'all motherfuckers about to be on Netflix. Yeah, we gotta do an interview. Yeah, y'all about to be on Netflix. Tell the people where we're at right now. No comment. No comment, man. <laughs>
about to uh, pop some more. I ain't got no cups, man. I'm about to pop the bottle or more. Flock over here popping it. What is that? Get you some Don Julio. We will fool you <laughs> if you don't drink Don Julio. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, he about to be toast. Man, Gorilla Gang cool with me, man, for life, man. There is one thing I've noticed about uh, the hoods. For instance, I was just hanging out with uh, somebody in D.C. They said you can't eat hot dogs, you can't eat popsicles, yeah, you can't eat bananas. No glizzy time. Unless you listen no. to that glizzy, you ain't doing no eating no glizzies out here, this motherfucker. So, <laughs> all this gay shit, nah. We're at a stage right now where it feels like stuff like Pride Month and LGBT is kind of shoved in our faces a lot. Mm -hmm. What do you think about that? They just need to stay doing their own thing while everybody else do their own thing. Like I, like I said, they invisible. I don't see them. So right now it's Pride Month. What do you think about that? Same thing I think about any other month. It got to go on. I don't really give a fuck. What's your favorite month of the year? December. Why is that? My daughter's birthday. Are there any conspiracy theories you believe in? Hell yeah. Bro, all that. of them. Straight up. All of them. Cartoon drinks. I believe in all that shit. Did Jeffrey okay. Epstein kill himself? Hey, cartoon theory video. If y'all want to see me react to those, let me know. For real. If y'all don't, I might just do it anyway. <laughs> He's a vampire. He's Andrew Jackson. I shouldn't even be saying this shit. Hold up. Hey, did we land on the moon? Nope. Alright, where are we heading to next? To the studio. Bring your bars, let's go. So, somehow, like we're going from like gangster rap land to next to like a Chevrolet dealer. Out in the sticks. DJ Tommy G out here. Where did you bring us, Big Flock? We look like we're in the sticks right now. We are in the semi sticks right now, my boy. We are about to go ahead and do a rap song, and I'm about to punish you on the beat. You ready? Okay, let's, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. I'm about to go to the smoke shop first. Fat Munchies by my manager, Aiden. These my fitted hats that I made. It's the Munchies shit right here. Anybody know what size they wear? I'm gonna give you a gift to take home. Well, so what are we looking at right now, fellas? This is called, this is uh, the Fat Munchies and for Reapers only, Cross Brand Line. We all have the same line. For Reapers only. This will be my hat right here, and the Fat Munchies hat will be right here. So you got a clothing line. Yeah, I got clothing line, hat line, vending machines. I rap. I do other things. I do everything, to be honest. Well, there you go. There you go. Hey, look, I'm like Vanilla Ice 2023. Okay. When y'all come down here, make sure you call fat munches, no matter what. Y'all look cool. Sheesh. What's the song that you made in here that you're like, this is my shit? Go ahead right now? Yeah. Brandon and I had no idea that we were expected to join Big Flock on a song. The producer put on a beat and told us we had 15 minutes to get a verse ready. Here's oh, what wow. happened. When you call, we in the spot, we not in the band, though. BG keep a dog, is no, uh, uh, BG keep a dog, uh, uh, BG keep a dog, is not a cock of spaniel. God damn. It's murder for money, we armed and we dangerous. Uh, uh. Uh, uh. I'm a big dog, can't put me on a leash. Let's go right before the... Right before it tapped me in. I'm a big dog, can't put me on a leash. I'm hot out my city, I'm bringing the heat. They step against me, then I leave them deceased. I am a beast, I am a freak. Horny <coughs> ass nigga. Oh God. Okay, okay. <laughs> I think it just coming for three bars and back to him. Okay. I gotta hear it though. You know what I'm saying? I gotta hear what I'm working with. What's going through your mind right now, Big Fly? It's just funny as hell. It's like, <clears throat> that whole swag is different right now. Yeah, it's tripping. <laughs> oh, hey, Big Fly. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, bro. Right These niggas are hilarious. Funny as hell. It's like, <clears throat> that whole swag is different right now, yeah, it's tripping. <laughs> uh, hey, big flock, watch how you talk, get popped like rocks. Even the cops can't stop on the block. Kid is a bitch, he don't want to box. Uh. God damn, it was who dissing me? Probably a good idea to avoid uh, doing a big flock this. <laughs> I'm this I'm, I'm, I'm I thought I was repping you by being like, shouting you out like, big flock. Brandon, give an honest 
appraisal of our performance right now. We are in a booth with a certified game rapper. For some reason, we are also on the song. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I don't know how this happened. I used to film music videos in the DMV and now I'm about to be in a music video, but uh, me and Tommy have been back to back to back filming videos the past three days. We're not, exhausted as fuck. Not sleeping, not eating right. Uh, so I don't really even know what's going on. Give an honest assessment of our performance so far. Do you feel like the song can, is gonna hit? It definitely has potential. People wanna hear us rap. People wanna see that I gap like crazy motherfucker though. I don't like how You can switch your tone. Like work with me. Like show me what you're gonna rap next and work with me. Get on the... Get on the... Please trade with me and Brad. How are we doing in here? Needs work. White Boy Fresh out there was not impressed with any of our bars. Okay. He said he said we needed work. And he said... Of course we need work. He said... Uh, no, no, just... Just, just the cocktail. I say, damn, I ain't it up. That's probably good, to be honest. Okay, yeah. Because yeah. he it's cut good. it. Because the clock ended the, okay. the verse. So. Yeah, I'll trust you. He thinks we got maybe a C minus or a D plus. So D minus. Hey, how did it? How did we do? Man, y'all did it's like okay? that, nigga. That's a motherfucking platinum. Hey, man, that's a platinum motherfucking track, nigga. Hey, I fuck with titties. Watch how you talk, get pop like rocks. Even the cops can't stop on the block. Kid is a bitch, he don't want to box. Oh. I'm not gonna lie. Man, listen, we closed. Hey. I was with my man Tommy G. My mother was hey, having was a whole tough, right? good time today. So make sure that y'all tune in, y'all subscribe, y'all do all that crazy that y'all supposed to be doing. I've been on the hustle, I've been on my grind. I'm the craziest dude, yeah, I've been on my mind. I've been that was hard. And in time. Now I walk in this bitch and I'm taking. Folks, hope you enjoyed this episode. You want to watch another? No, no. Here. You want to subscribe? Over here. See you next week. Hey, man, I hope y'all enjoyed this, man. Leave a like, comment, subscribe if you did. Hey, man, shout out to Tommy G, bro. I don't know why I'm not sub. Let me go ahead and sub in like that shit, man. Shout out to Tommy G, bro. I'm out, man.